Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see about unlatching. Before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel. So, latching we have seen. Now, this is unlatching. So, you have turned on a motor using a latching concept and push button. Okay. So, now how you are going to turn off the motor? So, once it is latched, it means you have to unlatch it somewhere. Let's see how to do that. So, unlatching have to be with some other input. Okay. So, if you have a start push button, you should also have a stop push button. This is mandatory because without another push button, we cannot be able to turn off a motor. Right. So, see, look out this. We have a start push button and we have a parallel contact of the relay. Normally, open contact of the relay because to latch the output. Now, by using one more input, we are going to unlatch it. Okay. So, let's see. So, whenever you are turning on, your coil will also get turned on and your contact will also get turned on. So, if you release it, what will happen? Your output remains in on condition. Right. So, if you turn off the output, you have to open this contact. You have to open this contact so that your relay will be in off condition. Correct. But see, there is one important logic over here. Here, stop push button is used as normally closed contact. Look. Normally, open contact is used for start push button. But stop push button is used as normally closed contact. Why? Why means? Initially, it have to allow the allow the uh, you know power, you know it it should allow the uh, flow from L to N, positive rail to negative rail. It should allow first. So for that only we are using normally closed contact. If you are using normally open contact, then that will be act like one more start push button. So that's not our requirement. No, initially it should allow. If any case, you have to press it so that it will break the contact. So, all emergency, uh, you know, stop will be the normally closed contact. Even in uh, metro escalators and all, if you have seen, you can find one red color button in between the escalator. So, that is for the emergency stop and that contact will be a normally closed contact. So, let's see how to do that in the CX programmer. So, I have a push button, first push button and output is on. This is the latching concept. No, So, I am putting one more normally closed contact. I am naming that as one more push button. Okay. So, so let's go for the simulation mode. Right. So, now I am going to turn on the push button. Output is on. If you turn off, output is Still on. So, this is latching. So, once you have turned on a motor using a push button. So, your motor is uh, doing some function, uh, pumping water or whatever some process is doing. Okay. After some time, your process is done. So, you have to turn off the motor. So, what you will do? You have to turn on this. So, that your motor will get off. So, this is unlatching. Seal out. So, you are doing the sealing in and this is sealing out. To break the contact, we have to use a normally closed contact. Correct. So, to make a contact means you have to put that in parallel. To break the contact means you have to put that in the series. Right. So, this is latching and unlatching. So, like this only, they have put it in the PPT. See here, latching. First, if you press, initially these two will be open, this will be closed. If you press, this will also get pressed and power is flowing. If you release the start push button, power is still flowing because it is taking this route. If you want to turn off, you have to break this so that what will happen? Your output will also off. And so, so that's it about the unlatching concept. So, if you like this video, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. I will meet you in the next session. Thank you.